Hey guys, welcome back to another serving of Food for Thought. Of course, not everything in the reading will resonate with you, so I encourage you to take what does and of course, leave the rest. However, if this resonates or you just so happen to like this reading, let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So let's jump right into the energy here, Holy Spirit. One of the cards here that best represent the message, the energy, the light. Hmm. So I feel like someone thought they could leave something to the imagination and they thought that you were wait for them or they were protecting you from something, but they now see nothing was protected or there's no reward for how they treated you because something is now unraveling. Hmm. Something is unveiling itself through layers. Something is slowly unfolding and someone is blinded by something as they are definitely in the final steps of contemplating something silently. I feel this is someone who is silently seeking answers or thinking about their careless actions, the risk they took that got them no reward. This is someone who is reaching a, a closing, a conclusion, a sudden realization when it comes to a deficiency. Wow. This is someone who could be drowning in emotions. That someone has definitely gone too deep, fallen too deep, in some very dense baggage. Someone is contemplating making an offer or circling back to you. Someone is thinking about what they want, but also thinking about what they did. Feeling like something just doesn't measure up, or you're no longer thinking of them in the way that you once did. Mm. This is why someone is feeling empty when it comes to emotions or trying to cope with something, drowning in their pain or even their emotions. Someone is drowning in unstable energy, unstable feelings where someone could be in over their head when it comes to the baggage that they refuse to see or even handle. I feel like there's an untold story or something that has been held back when it comes to information, something hidden that is being exposed, but I feel is under duress or uncomfortable karma. Someone is being seen for who they truly are or what they really want. Hmm. Someone definitely has a guilty conscience. This is bad blood. Someone feels like they really tore something apart when it comes to you. So much so that they feel you may not ever see them in the same light. This is why someone is carefully thinking about what they did to make a tempting offer. But something is blinding them when it comes to seeing the truth or even the light. However, they are in the final steps of something that's leaving them blank, empty, mm. unstable. And it's all connected to this dense baggage. As someone is wanting to take a step forward or come towards you because they still have love for you. I feel this is someone who is still in a space where they're trying to figure something out but still not getting anything right as they're still trying to choose between what's comfortable and what they know is right. Hmm. But this energy is still not mastering logic or even a sense of self. For many of you, someone wants to travel come your way. Someone feels like they were just so close, but now they're so far. But it's all because of a distorted way of thinking. Someone is definitely feeling unworthy. I feel for many of you, you try to make something right. Now someone is triggered that you're no longer pushing for something or making the effort. Someone's thinking about the road to home. This is someone who is conflicted, but also seeing there is no universal oneness between the two of you. This is why someone is wanting to reach out to you. Hmm. Someone's wanting to make a long-term investment and circle back to you, but something is blinding them or keeping them at bay, keeping them lost or detached. I feel this could also be attached to some codependent ways that someone has that has them desperate. Hmm. Someone's con trying to control them or someone's just in a very unstable relationship. Please take it how it resonates, but someone is looking to focus more on you, focus on their stability or even their foundation. Someone is looking to circle back or take the solo path. Someone is wanting to get something right, but they're dealing with some uncomfortable karma or a guilty conscience that has them struggling alone and dealing with some very unfamiliar feelings as someone has taken a roll of the dice and it's caused them to allow time to continue to slip away. 
someone has allowed time to slip away and this is why they're dealing with foreign emotions and thoughts and feelings that is a definitely is definitely a direct cause and effect of them falling victim to their own temptations and weaknesses someone knows they made a lot of mistakes they have failed to learn from I feel this is someone who is coming out as an unconventional soul who is in heavy regret. They just don't know how to make up for it or make it right. Because they're too used to getting it wrong and making things more complicated with the choices they make because they choose to manipulate than come from an authentic space of the heart. I feel for many of you, this is someone who wants you to soften your heart so they can bring in some type of compromise. I feel this is someone who wants to communicate, but I feel they're about to do something that is material-based, something that is hyper-focused on finance or status, fame. This is something that is attention-driven, and someone's feeling like you're going to tap in or let your guard down because of it, but I feel it just might be the very reason they lose you. I feel this is someone who is in some type of fantasy or illusion. Someone is losing themselves when it comes to the games they play, when it comes to affairs of the heart, where there is a push and pull of someone running and wanting to be chased, but I feel there's a surprise in store for someone who needs to accept their journey. Because quiet as it kept, this is someone who is missing you, but silently. I feel this is someone who is swimming in their memories, wanting to say a lot, thinking about how it used to be you and them against the world. And now they're trying to accept this solo path that they feel they were never meant to t take. Mm. But I feel this is this uncomfortable karma that is really, really bringing them to their knees as I sense this is someone who never really meant to lose you in this way but I also feel this is someone who feels they're just not done with you yet as I said before this is someone who wants to circle back to you but they're dealing with uncomfortable karma as something comes to a closure I feel this is someone who has a lot of careless actions and emotions that they have to atone for yet this energy is still cautious when it comes to love I feel this is someone who is needing to master something that they have yet to master. This is why they're still falling deep into this baggage where there is a lot of tempting energies or there's a lot of people that are bringing them to this low vibrational space where they feel like a victim to a chaos that they had help in causing. Someone wants to send you a XOXO. Someone wants to send you some love. Hmm. They feel they could save something for later. And this is why someone was not able to master something. And a very good reason why they're going through un uncomfortable karma. As someone is wanting to restore something with you. Someone is wanting to circle back. But they're drowning in some type of pain. Or drowning in karma. Hmm. So much so that those around them is starting to question their actions. Or even their sanity. Asking if they're even wanting to be a part of something that they're around, but I feel this is someone who knows for a fact that they're not happy where they are or they're just rather have things the way it used to be. But someone is wanting to circle back just to restore something they have with you. Someone is thinking about what they didn't say. Someone is wanting to put in that effort after re reflecting someone is wanting to put in the effort after reflecting on a choice they made an entanglement that a caused a break or a tear in the heart the respect something is challenging someone knows that an entanglement or the fact that they were never there caused something to change now someone is going down memory lane thinking they should have went the distance now they're upset that they feel you may have your heart on lock because you may feel they're too damaged Wow, this is someone who thought this was a make up to break up situation, but I feel they left a trail of confusion because there's no victory in love, family, or even the choices they made. Someone is wanting to be super sweet after being super sour. This is someone who is going through a lot after taking you through hell and back. I feel many of you never truly knew what you got yourselves into until you tried to love them. I feel this is someone who could be dealing with uncomfortable karma. 
for flirting with danger. Now someone's trying to restore something because something has become too uncomfortable. Hmm. Yeah, someone feels like you're the good luck charm in a situation. This is why someone is wanting to circle back to you, but I feel someone's out of luck because you are on to something different, on to something bigger. Hmm. After thinking someone would grow over time or something would become a strong connection, many of you have to cut the cord because you're no longer speaking. For many of you, you're not on speaking terms or something is just not being understood when it comes to you speaking to them. Someone is still not listening and they're taking a gamble. Someone is still taking a risk, believing they have options. Someone is thinking about traveling your way, but I feel something is blocking them from fully coming back in or reaching out before closing one door to open another. I feel someone is taking a risk, flirting with danger. Not speaking because they need to cut the cord when it comes to their options. To have any luck with you, someone needs to become stronger than they used to be. Because if they don't, what's in front of them just might break them down. I feel someone is definitely in over their head when it comes to affairs of the heart, quality time, instant gratification. Someone is still weak to something. And this is what's got them in their feelings and seeking answers. I feel there's a third party that has cause a lot of damage this could also be hmm, in the reverse someone is causing damage with a third party because it's all going up in flames this is why someone is wanting to come back towards you because something is finished something is done something is over hmm. something has already changed someone knows that love is on the line but they're hoping that you hear see and speak no evil when it comes to the things they have done someone is hoping that you don't see things the way that it really is or really was. Someone is hoping they don't get denied. Someone is hoping that they don't get denied because it's all gone up in flames. Someone has a, a passion for you, but there's too many secrets and not enough loyalty. I feel there's too many secrets and not enough loyalty when it comes to someone who's got a lot of pride. Especially when it comes to the road to home. I feel this is someone who needs to get their mental state together as it seems like this energy is bipolar or could be dealing with someone who is bipolar. But I feel this is someone who needs to make a real choice before time is up. And for some of you, the time has already run out. As I sense someone's need for you is starting to outweigh what they actually chose. Hmm. Because now that others can see they're not happy where they are or they still want to be with you something is taking a turn for the worse mm. everyone's starting to look at them differently or i feel something they didn't want everyone to see is starting to be written all over their face this is something they can no longer deny or even hide as their mind is starting to acknowledge what their heart already knows as they know for sure they shouldn't be where they're at I feel this is someone who could be blindsided by something and they could trying to save self, trying to tame a situation that cannot be tamed. Someone is still not seeing the red flags as they're still trying to control something that is already up in flames. I feel someone is still attached because of their weaknesses, bedroom fantasies, or someone keeping them bound by the things that they like to do or the things that they want. Someone is feeding them pipe dreams and they're consuming it, they're taking it, and blaming everyone else for their serial cheater ways or the fact that they're never truly loyal. I feel someone's being blindsided by something. There's an argument. There's some type of confusion here where someone feels like their luck has changed when they chose to go to the other side, switch teams. Someone is blindsided when it comes to a decision that was made. I feel someone could be taking from them or this could be them taking from others, but someone is definitely doing something behind someone else's back in this third party situation. This is why someone feels like a decision needs to be made or they need to go back to you because they feel you would have never done them this way. Hmm. 
Someone just doesn't like to be on the other side of wrong. And someone has definitely put them in a space where they feel victimized or they feel they need to escape something that is definitely out of hand or got them feeling out of place. As I sense, someone is definitely doing something behind their back, emotionally, physically, financially. There's a lot of secrets and a lot of lies bad intentions of someone who has a lot of bad habits. Someone is crying silently behind the scenes over an argument. Mm -hmm. So for many of you, this is someone you thought would grow over time, but now that they're drowning in sorrow and pain, many of you feel that something would never change. I feel there also, there's an argument here. Someone's flirting with danger by trying to keep something in a, a, a mystery or an enigma, but I feel something is being blinded. Mm -hmm. Someone's clashing. Someone's taking off the mask. So it seems like someone's having an argument. It doesn't have to be based on you, but I feel you're creeping in in some type of way. Someone is telling a truth that should have never been spoken. Someone is taking off the mask and there's fighting. There's clashing. There's arguing. There's tension. And for some of you, someone's putting their hands on someone else. Someone's still not over you and someone's realizing that. Someone's in pain. They're realizing they got the same person you, you got. If not worse, someone is wanting to burn away the past because they're hitting rock bottom. Someone is taking off the mask and admitting a truth. Hmm. Now they're worried about an outcome. Someone's worried about an outcome because something is dead. Something is dead when it comes to a relationship they had with you. And now that they have hit rock bottom with something that has blindsided them, someone is wanting to do something at all costs because they're just not happy. No matter what they say or how they do it or how they shape it, they're just not happy. They know they screwed something up by running out of fear and being with toxic people. Now they feel they are stuck when it comes to love because trying to walk in their purpose is just not easy. They feel like someone did a spell on them or someone has done something to make them act this way, but many of you are not falling for the excuses or even their lies as their lives and choices are a direct reflection of what their wants and needs are. Someone is not wanting to be true to it. Someone is not wanting to be honest about what they put themselves through, but I feel something is all being exposed during this argument. Hmm. They never thought that they would say it or do it in this way, but something needed to be said. Someone needed to know that it's not them and it's you that they would rather, that they would rather be with. Wow. Now, something is being revealed about someone doing something else behind their back. Wow. Someone could also be doing something when it comes to finances, trying to keep something on the steelo. Someone is taking a risk where there is no reward because they're drowning in pain and, and trying to cope. This could be the third party who is very emotional and doing something behind the scenes, trying to cope with the fact that they have been abandoned or treated unjustly. Someone is trying to cope with the pain that was given because they never expected it to go this way. I feel there's a lot of chaos. Someone's laid up late at night. They know they kept a lot of secrets causing something to be shattered when it comes to their thoughts, their memories, the love, the dreams, the help that you gave. Something is faded and someone's getting kicked out. Someone feels like they can talk their way out of something. This energy thinks or feels that they are a smooth talker but they're about to be blindsided when it comes to a third party and you because something about you is no longer the same either. Someone feels like they may get rejected but they need some time to make a choice or a decision but I feel many of you are already know the tea about someone who has already shown you they have a cold heart or they're just not loyal. This is someone who is still drawn to you, but they're still pointing fingers at others, abandoning situations, yet still thinking they deserve forgiveness. I feel there's a lot of chaos when it comes to someone who is still blindsided or blinded to a truth. So for many of you, it seems like there's a lot of chaos because of someone's denial. But as I said before, there's a lot of arguments, tension, and a lot of conflict over a confession or something that was definitely exposed in the worst way. I feel someone broke all the rules and this is why they're sitting in a space of denial when it comes to the chaos they help create as someone may need to have a sense of li liquid courage to circle the block or come back your way but I feel this energy is about to burst because they feel they have so much to say. There's so much 
left unsaid someone feels like they need to leave the negativity behind to have this moment with you because they really do miss you even if they just have no clue on how to treat you or how to act I feel this is someone who's about to say their peace or say goodbye to a double life, but I feel someone is giving someone else the silent treatment, hoping they can prolong something, but something is still drifting apart. I feel there's a lot of anxiety when it comes to two lovers, but something is about to be handled in the worst way where someone's about to be alone without anything or anyone to manipulate or love. I feel the game is over. Something is up the jig is up when it comes to someone's control hmm. because the way things used to be it's just not the way they are now as there's some type of ripple effect or eclipse in a situation that's causing something to turn on turn on its head because whoever was winning before they're not winning now hmm. because as i said before there's some type of heated exchange or argument about you that exposes everything in fact there's a lot of things exposed during this conversation or argument but i feel none of it comes from the the best of places i feel there's a lot going on here emotionally mentally financially but someone is still not seeing something for what it is someone feels like you're being too picky you're being over dramatic but i feel you're doing what's right. You're doing what's necessary when it comes to someone who is very inconsistent with you. I feel this is someone who is too ashamed of a lot of things they have done and said. They're wanting to circle the block and needing the liquid courage to do so. Someone just might not have the balls enough to call you outright or meet you face to face. So they could be calling you from a private account or a private number. Please take it how it resonates. But someone is not wanting to do something direct because they feel like they just can't. But as I said before, something is being exposed to the tone of someone not being able to get over you or they have the intentions to come back to you. Yet either way, this third party, they're not happy about it. Hmm. I feel someone's in denial about this new energy they have in their life because they're hurting without you and they're just not wanting to admit it. This is why someone is needing that liquid courage or they're cry crying in silence in dark corners someone is just in a space where they're not ready to do something face to face so they're just driving by your house or someone is getting intel about you from someone else but whatever the case someone is being passive aggressive or possessive about you possessive about what is shattered possessive about a marriage a possessive about a family or a connection a friendship wow or someone's mother getting involved but there's a lot of petty energies friends family there's a lot of gossip and this is why someone can't sleep because they have invested in the wrong people places and things which is why their life and their energy is unstable hmm. wow this is someone who wants to come back around as they've been comparing everything and everyone to you and for some of you, this third party is very aware that they're not happy where they are or they don't want to be where they are. And it's starting to show in the arguments, in their energy, in their distance, and even their silence. Someone is currently checked out and embarrassed of who they have to be without you. Yet the, the fact that this energy continues to invest is because... They believe it's the only option they have left. Hmm. Now someone's caught with thinking about the doom and the gloom every day because someone has too much pride to admit they're ashamed. Someone has too much pride to admit that they're getting fake love or giving fake love to, to someone who they thought was the right person. Hmm. Now they feel they're giving their time and their energy to someone who doesn't deserve them at all. In fact, I feel they're wrong about that because this is someone who is giving them in the exact same energy that was given. Hmm. Now they feel like someone is out to destroy them, but I feel in so many ways they gave you that same feeling. Now they're feeling empty and annoyed that you may not be in the energy of ever 
looking back. This is why someone could be watching you closely, but instead they should be seeking some type of counseling. Someone needs to be in the energy of trying their best to finally get it right. But I feel this energy is so focused on what doesn't matter at all that they continue to invest in cycles that leave them nowhere. I feel this is someone who needs to make a decision and circling back to you might not be the best one, especially if they're sitting in this unhealed energy because as I said before, many of you have given them time to grow, time to change, and they have taken the latter as they have chosen comfortable ways of doing things just so they could avoid change, but I feel that time is up. Many of you have evidence of this energy never really putting in the effort or never truly changing. And this is why many of you are now being picky with your energy. And this is why they are no longer having access the way they used to. I feel this third party is definitely giving them a run for their money. Someone is in mental distress, lurking in the shadows, wanting to explain why they're afraid of you or afraid of love. But I feel you could be dealing with someone who needs to reveal a truth or take off a mask. Hmm. Because there's too many lies and secrets when it comes to someone who is coming out as a troubled one. This is a heartbreaker who has played a lot of childish games. They're wanting to start over now, but they feel like you're no longer waiting. This is someone who is somewhat upset at the fact that you have backed off. But I feel in so many ways, these are the choices that had to be made. As I sense, someone may have backed off from starting over with you because of some type of bad news connected to a third party or a false environment, bad influences. This is karma. I feel your absence is definitely a part of their karma as someone is wanting to come back but not being able to have that. Something long term is now short term or something short term is now long term when it comes to someone who has stabbed in the back and did it without warning. This is why many of you don't want to hear them out or you need time away. But the fact that you are coming out as high value, someone is wanting to be connected in the worst way. I feel this is someone who is blinded by something in an argument or something that became very tense and even physical. I feel this argument, it really takes a toll and it, it really exposes everything more than you know. This argument... It's coming out as explosive. Mm. Explosive when it comes to the facts that are told, the things that are said wow, about you and everything else. Everything is coming out. Even the witchcraft, someone feels like someone did a spell on them. And that's halfway true. But I feel someone has no reason, no rhyme. Mm. Someone has no status when it comes to you. This is why you can't be touched. You're heavily protected and highly covered in the blood. I feel many of you have had some type of inkling that someone is trying to affect you in some type of way. But I feel this energy will always be just that, an inkling. A itch you will always be able to scratch because trust me, they ain't got it like that. Not like you do. This is why... Whatever they thought was new is now blindsiding them and they're having to stay in a space of denial just to get through. But I feel being in denial is only creating more havoc, more damage, more baggage. Hmm. Which is why many of you have no rhyme or reason to even invest in someone who is still ignoring the truth. I feel this is someone who left you on red because the truth is still not being spoken. Even if they see it for what it is, someone is still not wanting to tap into it. Wow. This argument is definitely all over the place. It's even on this side here, especially when it comes to someone taking off the mask, taking off this blindfold to spill a truth. Someone is no longer lurking, but now growing, explaining their heart and their truth, wanting to come back. Without a doubt, someone is no longer lurking, but spilling a secret, exposing something for what it is when it comes to snakes in the grass. Those they know can't be trusted. I feel someone was blindsided by someone who they caught feelings for. Now they're wanting to make amends with you. They see you as a twin flame, a soulmate. 
Yet I feel this is someone who has been so inconsistent with you due to interferences, third parties, false environments. They could be walking on eggshells when it comes to abuse and someone's toxic ways of being with a karmic partner. I feel someone could be shutting down. They feel like you have already shut them out. I feel this is someone who is getting caught or someone is definitely in a space where things are out of balance because of what has been said. The cat is out of the bag, especially when it comes to a book of lies or someone is disappointed or just for the streets. But whatever the case, something is just too late or just too damaged. I feel something is just too damaged when it comes to someone who is hurting without you and getting no sleep all because of the games that are being played when it comes to them choosing the wrong person. I feel they're also dealing with a matriarch. There's a feminine energy here who is also heading the, the ship like they're creating toxic patterns or breaking all the rules when it comes to being possessive about them circling the block with you. I feel someone is definitely drinking. Hmm. Whoever this is is drinking. This is the one that's being kicked to the curb. Someone is trying to get faded. Someone is trying to get out of their head when it comes to something but I feel these arguments, this tension this this turbulence is definitely taking a toll, it's definitely getting out of hand hmm. I feel someone is getting the same treatment that you had to deal with if not worse as someone could be wishing they never tried to take your place or even laugh at your pain as it is now a reality that is taking their time, energy, finances, and youth. Someone feels drained by even being connected to this. This is why someone feels like they have nothing left or they have nothing to lose. And this may cause someone to go balls to the wall. Someone's going to be in a space where they're derailed because of their emotions support devotion loyalty but i feel something may cause something to be mended mm. mended when it comes to getting something right finally letting something go after being in denial for so long you could be dealing with a pirate someone who is careless selfish and also materialistic this is someone who is coming from a very lustful place of passion craving freedom but still dealing with a sense of justice i feel something is coming to an end there is about to be some type of fairness when it comes to someone who has a heart of stone i feel someone could be pointing fingers and struggling exploring Struggling to explore a situation that was just an illusion. Someone's just caught up in the games of this runner-chaser dynamic. Never realizing they would get caught up in their own game. This is why someone is silent. Because they're cuffed to something that has them broken. When it comes to commitment, someone feels like something is set in stone. I feel this is someone who is now broken, battered, damaged, and fragmented. All because of a karmic influence, a karmic relationship that has now become a sticky situation. I feel this is a sticky situation where someone is just wanting to disappear and come out of this nightmare. But I feel they just don't have the keys to do so. Someone is definitely lost on how to get something right. And the fact that they have been manipulating life for this long is the reason they may have unintentionally prolonged their own pain. Let's get some final energy here. Of course, if you guys have enjoyed the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Let's get some more energy here. Final message here. Final message here, Holy Spirit. Final message. Hmm. Yeah, someone is definitely playing puppet master and still pointing fingers. And this is why someone is lurking instead of really making the, a true decision to be truthful or circle back to you. Many of you are not accepting this energy in an unhealed fashion. This is why someone is going to have to get it right. Because it just might be the last time they can get it wrong. I feel like someone is still cuffed to a situation that has caused them to be silent. Thinking something is still fragmented and broken with you. But... It's this state of mind that they're in that's keeping them in pain, despair, and making them feel unhappy because all they have to do is leave it all behind. 
no matter what it is or who it is, it all has to change. I feel this is someone who is unhappy when it comes to what they are rooted in. Someone's wanting to ground themselves, find a sense of stability, but I feel they're needing to change self, not just their surroundings, but I feel they are thinking about their roots, the memories, what they have connected to, and what they need to disconnect from. Someone is looking for direction after being lost for so long, yet I sense it won't be as easy as they think it is, as there's still a lot of lessons to be learned. Someone still has a lot of living and learning to do when it comes to giving and receiving. In fact, for many of you, you may feel someone may need your sympathy or even a helping hand. But I feel the more you help, the more damage that is created. And someone is going to have to do this of free will because they had no helping hand in creating it. Someone wants to numb the pain. They're trying their best to numb something, suppress the emotions of um, the lessons that are being learned someone feels like the challenges are too great when it comes to the wounds that they have hmm. someone is still wounded and I feel you're going to hear it you're going to feel it in the way they speak to you the way they communicate as something is already faded when it comes to someone who still has yet to really show you they care but I feel it's when they choose to reconnect Someone's going to remind you of why there is distance, but it's not going to stop them from navigating and rerouting their way back to you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this message and it's gained some food for thought. If so, let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Hope to see you again, guys. Bye.